It's been nine years since you changed teams, 2011 when you went to Carolina. Why you had a lot of opportunities. Why Seattle this time with the transition? Yeah, as I said, I, I was really blown away. You know, I spoke to a lot of teams, a lot of GMs and head coaches that expressed interest. And, um, you know, a lot of the teams I had a ton of familiarity with, you know, up in up in Buffalo with Sean McDermott, a guy I have a ton of respect for, a guy that I have a great relationship with. And he's got a staff of a bunch of coaches. You know, he my my first ever tight end coach in the NFL back in Chicago, um, where I got drafted, is now the tight end coach in Buffalo. And Kenny Dorsey's the quarterback coach. He was here for some of our best years in Carolina. So I a ton of guys that I knew, and um, that was a hard call. You know, same thing with Coach Rivera. He brought the entire staff with him to you know to Washington, and and so many other teams were either had connections or they just had great teams or great quarterbacks that were appealing to me, but, you know, there was something unique from, you know, seeing Seattle so many times up close and personal and understanding coach Carroll and what he built there and their level of success. And then of course, Russell Wilson and how special he is. You know, I just thought if you're going to give it a shot with a new team, why not go somewhere where you have a lot of respect for what they've done. They've done this now for a decade. They know what they're doing and uh, I can just join and, you know, hopefully contribute to whatever level I can. And, uh, see if I can, you know, contribute to us having a great season. One of the things that you hear about out there is, is it's one, it's the energy, Pete and the culture and, and certainly Russell. I, I've never been a free agent, but I would imagine you go th- down a list of location, quarterback as it applies to you, head coach, culture, and of course money at the end. But this one checks every box. It does. And, and going into it, um, the, a lot, the, the items you just mentioned were really how we went down the list. Um, you know, I wanted to play for a team that's been a perennial contender. Look, we all, we all know the reality. None of us know who's going to make the playoffs. None of us can guarantee a trip to the Super Bowl, a trip. No one knows that. It doesn't matter what team you play for, what organization. Every year it's so hard to get back there. And I understood that, but there are certain organizations where you have better chances than others just when you look at their track record. You look at their consistency. You look, what are their bad years like? You know, what, what's their basement? And with Seattle, you know, you're talking over the last 10 years, you know, they're at or near the top of the list as far as just consistency, average number of wins, playoff appearances. And a lot of that has to do with head coach and quarterback, right? It's what's what drives, drives the league. And, um, those two things, you know, just resonated with me as they did with Buffalo and as they did in so many other teams. But, uh, I just thought it was a unique opportunity. And you talk about a place to live. We have spent no time in, the, in that part of the country. We went out there, my wife and I, it was beautiful. We loved it. We've heard nothing but great things. And uh, we're in for a new adventure and, and we're excited about it. Well, you signed a one-year deal to go to the Seahawks. So that means this time next year, you'll have your announcer game charts out and getting ready for the 2021 season in the broadcast booth. <laughs> Got our fingers crossed here. You did some XFL games with us this off season. You've done NFL games the last couple of years in your bye week. You got a bright future there as well, young man. Hey, Greg, if you're questioning your decision not to go somewhere else, I'm not sure if the last snowfall just fell in Buffalo or is it the first snowfall of winter? <laughs> yeah, I the day I went to Buffalo, poor Buffalo, it was like a blizzard and cold and nasty. And I was like, guys, I promise I'm not going to hold this against you. But like, it, it's not this bad usually, you know, it's not this bad. <laughs> People but, always uh, tell you it's not this bad. It was, oh, it's not this hot here in Phoenix. Lie. It's not this bad in Buffalo. <laughs> Always. Thank you right. for joining us, man. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Thanks, man. Good luck. Thanks, Thanks, guys. That was fun. Thanks for having me. For the best access, perspective, and personalities in all of sports, follow us at Fox Sports on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.